Coming up, we settle into life in the Mani Peninsula in the stunning village of Limini and spend the next few days touring the area, visiting underground caves, abandoned villages and taking in spectacular scenery. Don't miss this one. So we're deep in the Peloponnese now on the Mani Peninsula and uh, we've been crossing through the rugged mountainous terrain. It's been really nice. It's about a three and a half hour drive from Athens to this area and we're heading for Lemony. There's been about five or six different tolls we've had to go through so it's cost us about 11 or 12 euros so far. Thank you. So that's uh, two euros ten we've just paid there. We've got several of these tolls to do. That's behind us now, we're on a single track road now all the way to the resort that we're staying in. Um, but it's just beautiful and uh, it's been a really good drive so we'll we'll see what it's like when we arrive at the resort. We'd booked a few nights stay in the Limini Village Hotel on a hillside overlooking the bay and the small village of Limini itself. Driving down towards the coastline we knew we'd made the right choice. The view as we drove through the gates was incredible. The rooms here are traditionally designed from stone like mini towers. With just 48 rooms it's a cute quiet place just on the outskirts of the village. So here we are at Lemony Village. It was a long drive, but it was so beautiful. Let's go check in. The rooms blend in beautifully with the local surroundings and really showcase the ancient Peloponnese architecture. If you're interested in staying in this hotel, check out our full review and hotel tour top right now. To explore the little village we needed to navigate this path, winding down the side of the hill. It was pretty steep and the climb back up later in the dark was a challenge, but the 15 minute walk is well worth it for the views. En route there was a tiny church and cemetery and we couldn't resist a little walk around. What a place to be buried. Walking along the coastline in the afternoon sun was gorgeous. People were out swimming, snorkeling and boating. There is no beach here, but steps lead down over the rocks into the shallow clear blue water at various places. The town itself is really small. It only takes about five minutes to walk from one end to the other along these really cute cobbled roads. There's not a lot happening during the day. But there are a few restaurants open, but it really comes alive at night. I think there's about five different restaurants and a cocktail bar, which has a perfect position for sunset cocktails. There's a really sleepy, quiet feel to the village. If you're gonna stay in one of the village hotels, then note that parking might be an issue due to the tiny roads and the one-way system. 
For a bit of excitement, try Manny Water Sports. You can book kayaking, paddleboarding, boat tours and more from this website. They are based in the village. dropped in at Teloneo, a really cute cocktail bar and restaurant on the sea edge with a great bar area and nice comfy seating. We arrived at just the right time as moments later it completely filled up with people coming for sundowners. Cocktails were 10 euros each which seems to be about the norm in Greece. What better way to spend the last of the daylight hours. We hadn't booked the restaurant but were lucky enough to get a table. It seemed pretty popular so booking might be worthwhile to avoid disappointment. The quality of the food and the setting was amazing and we had a really memorable meal here. Unfortunately it got too dark to film so I have to rely on some photos of the meal. We ate incredibly fresh roasted octopus, shredded lamb with oregano and a spicy feta crust and a moussaka. Total cost with wine was around 100 euros, which is quite expensive for a meal, but it was well worth it. We highly recommend you look up this restaurant if you're in the area. Next time we start to explore the region and head for the underground caves of Deiros, featuring an underground boat ride and walking tour around the incredible stalagmite and stalactites. We hope you'll join us again. Subscribe to be notified of our next video. Thanks for watching and happy travels from the Memory Seekers.